to Insights from the Playmat, uh, Minder's new series to give you an insight into some of the amazing people we're meeting and what we're learning from them along the way. Uh, today we're here with Mara Martin uh, here at the United Nations where we've just come for an amazing round table event to learn about how we can raise kids that care about equality. Mara, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you so much. <laughs> so Mara, tell us a little bit first uh, about what brought you here to New York, what you thought about the event we just witnessed, and then we'll get into a bit more of your backstory. Um, I actually came here because Minder invited me, and this event um, it was really exciting because I haven't really started to think about how I want to raise Aria, my daughter, because she's so little and I've been just doing this whole mom, this first mom and new mom thing. But going to an event like this where they talk about raising your um, children to you know, learn about equality, it's it's something you need to start, start thinking about at a young age. And I'm glad I got to go and see the different ways to do it and um, different programs like Thomas and Trains that you know promote this. Absolutely. And, and tell us a little bit about your daughter, Aria. She's awesome. <laughs> she's um, seven months uh, a couple weeks ago, and she's just starting to sit up and kind of get into things. Um, but she's like the joy of my life and so happy, and I'm excited to you know, just show her everything and uh, bring around New York City. And what was your transition like into becoming a mother? How have you felt? Has it been challenging? Have there been high points, low points? Tell us a little bit about the journey. Um, at first, my pregnancy wasn't the best, so uh, having her, I was kind of nervous that I wasn't going to be prepared enough because I was so emotionally down and um, sick all the time. But after she came, I, I thought I adjusted pretty well. And but there's been definitely things that I haven't, you know, I didn't know, didn't know that were going to come up. But overall, I think that you know I'm doing a, as best as I can. And um, just in general, having a baby and I don't know how to explain it, but just starting as a new mom, you have different things you want to, an idea of what you want to do, and an idea of what, what kind of mother you want to be, but now being a mom, I realize you have to just kind of roll with the punches and kind of just flow with it, and you know, it's, things don't always go as planned, and you just kind of have to go with it. But one thing I will say that's super important, and I've learned this, is that you should rely on other moms, and you know, have I have tons of friends now that have reached out on Instagram, and friends from back home who have babies that give me advice, and it's so helpful because you can relate to them and ask them for things or ask them for products that they use, so I've been definitely doing that. <laughs> That's awesome. It's so important. And we actually just had a massive discussion um, in the Minder community yesterday about the importance of new mom friends. And uh, it was interesting, the number one thing that came up that people said they cared about in a new mom friend is uh, no judgment, like yeah. just taking you as you are. Uh, have you experienced judgment as you've become a new mother? Or is that something you've been able to stay away from? Um, it's definitely a thing. I feel like um, just I even judge myself to be honest I go um, on social media and I see other parents and other friends that are doing it a different way than me and I'm thinking am I doing the right thing or am I doing okay and I think that the best thing I've learned is to not compare yourself and um, even if someone does judge you it's you know that's that's their own own thing to worry about but overall that you know we're all just trying to do our best and it's it's tough uh, being a mom is really tough so being able to lean on people that don't judge and kind of just take you for what it is it's awesome I love it, and uh, I completely agree. Um, and now, for anybody that has been living under a rock and doesn't already recognize you and your claim to fame, uh, you shot to stardom when you walked the Sports Illustrated Swim Week runway while breastfeeding your baby daughter, Aria. Tell us a little bit about that day, how it happened, how you felt. Just walk us through. Yes. Uh, it's actually a really crazy story. I won't talk too long, but um, there was open call casting, and it's been a lifelong dream of mine to do, do Sports Illustrated. And I didn't have a babysitter, and Aria is exclusively breastfed, so I either had to miss it or take her. And it's been a long dream of mine, and I thought, what better thing to show her to pursue your dreams no matter what? And I took her along with me, and out of 5,000 girls and 20,000 submissions, they kept narrowing it down to 300, then 60, and then 16 girls to walk the runway. So it was awesome. <laughs> I was freaking out. And um, you know, they asked me if I wanted to walk in like a mommy and me type look. And at first, I was a little hesitant. But then I just wanted to play it by ear to see how she was doing out throughout the day. And she was excited and happy. So I put her in her bikini and matched me. And um, we were backstage. And she got hungry. So I just started feeding her um, like I do every day, multiple times a day, <laughs> and throughout the whole casting process. And the editor just happened to be walking by me and saw me. And she just said, 
hey, do you want to walk her down the runway? I said, if she's sure. And she's like, if she's not done, go, go for it. I have support you. And I said, okay, awesome. <laughs> so that's what I did. She wasn't done. So I just decided to take her down and that was it. <laughs> That's amazing. And did you have any idea what that was going to unleash, what the reaction was going to be around the world? No, I mean, I still, I, it's finally sunk in because at first I was so, um, you know, kind of self-absorbed thinking it was about, you know, the Sports Illustrated dream of mine and, you know, this, it's just about breastfeeding, but really it's impacted women around the world about normalizing breastfeeding and um, being okay in their bodies after being a mom, like being, you know, it's okay to not have the perfect body all the time and the mom bot is okay, um, and also pursuing your dreams. So at first I had no intention of it, but I'm like so, so grateful that I can be the space of this you know, conversation and around the world. <laughs> Absolutely, and you're in some great company. You know, the week that Sports Illustrated uh, runway happened, uh, we also had amazing stories from Serena Williams playing, you know, saying she was playing for the mothers. Um, we, you know, we just had an event with Olivia Wilde, who's been a really outspoken uh, advocate on behalf of mothers. Who are some of the role models you look to for inspiration as you're embarking on this path? It's gr it's great to have these celebrities, um, like you said, Serena Williams and Olivia, you know, speak about being a mother because it can really bring you back down to earth that everyone who's a mom goes through the same things. And so for me, um, role models that I've had as mothers has been, you know, my mothers and celebrities, but really everyone has something that you can relate to because being a mom, you know, whether you have one kid or two kid, everyone goes through very similar things. Although different, it's very similar things that you can relate to. So it's just really great to look at. That's so true. It's like the great equalizer. We all are kept up at night yeah. <laughs> in the same way and we're all vomited on. Um, so before we wrap up, what's what's next for you? What are you focused on? What, what are you looking forward to in this year to come? Oh my gosh, so much. I'm hoping I get Ari to crawl first. <laughs> yes, um, but for me personally, on a personal level, um, I'm meeting with other agencies for work, um, potentially a book, I hope, hoping to maybe do a book deal, yeah. And then um, just being at some of these events, you know, that broadens the topic of what I, you know, this whole runway thing did for normalizing breastfeeding, but there's so much, there's such a array of things that you can get into being a mother. You, like you said, it, it's a huge equalizer, and I would love to be a part of other you know, events like this or different topics that, you know, we all can relate to. Absolutely. Well, Mara, thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, it's so exciting to be having this conversation, you know, in the room with you about raising kids that care about equality and out here just really teasing out how your experience fits into the broad framework of what we're all really trying to achieve, which is being the best mothers we can be, being the best humans we can be, and, and making that all happen at the same time. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.